Hey guys, we're the nerds of 9000 Plus, and today we're going to be talking about the new trailer for Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Of course, that's J.K. Rowling's newest addition to the Potterverse. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm super, super excited for this yep, film. Definitely. Primarily, honestly, because of Eddie Redmayne. I already love him. <laughs> he looks so awesome in like his like 20s suit. Yeah. You know, with his does. weird sh- case that's like shaking around there's all these crazy creatures in it and he's in new york city i like the idea that he comes to the americas something we all kind of miss not being from the uk yeah. is we don't really get access to the like the landscapes that are involved in, exactly. the, in these films so i'm super excited about it i thought the trailer looked awesome what'd you guys think i definitely loved it and eddie is a fantastic actor he has had such a great push with hollywood with hit after hit the, the man is truly on a roll and for him to be part of harry potter He's among legends. I'm digging the story. Like, I don't know the actors in this one as much as you guys do, but basically it's the person who wrote Fantastic Beats and Where to Find Them. It's about 70 years before Harry Potter came around. It's around that time period and him discovering these beasts. And apparently part of the story is he got kicked out of Hogwarts. So it's kind of interesting to see this rebel who which is very different than the Harry Potter verse where they weren't necessarily rebels. They just kind of kept getting into trouble <laughs> they and people fell into hated rebellion. them. Exactly. <laughs> so I kind of like this story. I like the fact that you're going to see more muggles in the story and they're not all going to be evil like Harry Potter's adopted family. So I kind of like that this is going to be a little bit of a different combination of different stories, the wizards and the muggles kind of working together. I love the Mary Poppins aspect of his, his suitcase where he was going into it and yes, stuff. Like that was pretty cool. Fully in it yeah Yeah, that was pretty cool and it looks like his roommate or whoever that guy was it looked like a roommate is going to be an interesting addition into the kind of wizarding world i'm excited i think the graphics look great the actors are looking really awesome in the just the trailer so i'm definitely going to go see this probably the day before as we usually do with the good movies just in case anybody doesn't really know the origins of this book it's actually the textbook first year's read in at hogwarts so the book doesn't have the author of the book Newt Scamander. It doesn't yeah. have his life story. It just has the beasts he found and exactly. what they're all about. So the movie gets to take all these liberties with fully fleshing exactly. out his story through Eddie Redmayne's spectacular acting. Fantastic actors and where to find them? <laughs> exactly. Eddie Redmayne. Mm. They get to kind of flesh out this story through the context of this textbook. So that's why it's going to work better than something like making three movies for this tiny little book called The Hobbit. But it'd be cool to kind of see like maybe some other things or maybe other stories from the Potterverse just because I... It, really enjoy her stories. Yeah, I do too. Just like your suitcase, I think there's much more to you than meets the eye. Thank you for watching N9000 Plus's review of Fantastic Beasts. For more of our reviews and other videos, click over here. And if you want to stay on top of everything that we're doing, make sure to click subscribe down below. But before we go, we want to know, what do you think about Fantastic Beasts? Is Eddie the perfect actor, lead? And what do you think about the overall story about expanding the universe of the Harry Potter world and doing prequels? Let us know by the comments down below. Whispered repetition. Catchphrase.